Let's take a look at the installation process of UJS into Laravel application. First of all, we have to install a couple of npm dependencies, Vue.js framework itself, and then we also need vid plugin to transform files with .view extension. This plugin will only be needed during development, so that is why we are using cfdev flag. After we have installed both of these packages, let's create Vue application and put this title inside Vue component. In my main blade view index.blade.php, I'm going to replace everything inside body element with a div with an id of app. This will be a container for our view application. And now let's take a look inside app.js. In here we're going to add code to initialize view application. We're basically going to move all the logic inside title.js into view component. So let's create component with the name app.view. In here I'm gonna quickly add basic markup for view component. Firstly let's add tag script with the keyword setup and then I'm going to import ref function to create reactive variable which is going to store title with an initial value of Laravel and down here I'm going to add a template where I'm gonna output the title into h1 element like this. And just to make it a little bit more interesting, I'm going to bind a couple of event listeners, specifically mouse enter as well as mouse leave, where whenever we're gonna hover over this title, we will change text on view. And if we're gonna move cursor away from the title, we'll assign previous text to the title reactive variable, like so. So now let's get back to app.js, remove title.js import from here. And instead what we're gonna do is we're going to import create app function from the view library. And then also we need to import our component with the name app.view from the components folder. And down here let's call create app function, pass in our component and call mount method. So this line is going to initialize our application and mount template of the main component into the element with an id of app. By the way, we no longer need the file title.js, so let's remove this file before checking result in the browser. And we're actually getting an error, that is because I forgot to include plugin view inside vid configuration file. So let's switch back to phpstorm, open up configuration file, and add an import for the plugin view. And like with any other vid plugin, let's call this plugin from within plugins array, and this way vid will understand files with an extension of view. And sure enough, if we're gonna check the result in the browser and try to hover over this title, we can see that the text is changing. So our Vue.js application has been properly initialized. So what actually happened behind the things is when browser has loaded app.js, it then fired another request to the server to fetch app component. And before which server has sent content of this component to the browser, it has performed several transformations to convert view syntax into JavaScript code in order for browser to understand it. And now before finishing this lesson, let's actually do one more thing. Currently we are importing styles directly inside app.js. Let's remove this import from here. And what we will do instead is actually include those styles as part of the view component. I'm going to jump into app.view. Here at the bottom, let's create style tag and paste here all those styles. And after doing this, we're not supposed to see any changes in the browser. Styles are still loaded properly. As we can see, they have been injected into the head element. That means we no longer have to keep separate CSS file in the project, so we can remove CSS folder completely. And when we're going to build our project, these styles are not gonna be injected into the head element. And instead we will have a link here to the CSS file that will be loaded separately. Everything is still working as expected, but this time browser has made additional call to fetch CSS file. And that is how easy it is to integrate Vue into Laravel application when using Vite.